best response. I've spoken to the world, not just here, I'm telling you talk about the French daughter, but it's America. Say, I don't want aid. Stop giving us aid. Nigeria doesn't need aid. Allow us to change the country. We have what it takes to change the country. And that we will solve this problem. We know we are what we are going to do. We are going to stop it. parties accuse each other of stealing or thieving. All they said about bit of is that it's stingy. Did you read it? Stinginess is part of capital formation. What you want to do now is to stop the world, those who are wasting the money and start keeping the money. And that's what we want to do. So we want those who are competent who have a feeling of what you are going through. We want those with capacity. We want those with compassion. So they will know that we have compassion. At this stage, I want you to observe. Can you stand up for a one minute silence? As you know, as you know, as you know, a few days ago, BDP had a campaign here and there was an accident and we lost about 15 or 16 Nigerians. Thank you. They're Nigerians. They're not members of Labour Party. But they are own people. We love them. And we need to observe silence for them. today. We thank you because you are the righteous and faithful God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for your son. Thank you for the entire team. And thank you for the dream and the vision of a new Nigeria. Father, today we declare our total freedom by the power of the Holy Spirit. We recover the soul of Nigeria today. Father, Lord God Almighty, we ask that in February this year, the next few days, you will make your son Peter Obi as a president. We thank you because this is our command and our desire. This we ask and we pray. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. indication is a clear statement that the people are tired of the existing political parties the people are tired of bad governance the people are tired of hunger the people are tired of unemployment and they are determined and ready to effect changes we've seen over the past few years 
that the numerous challenges that the country is having is as a result of faith leadership. We are happy today that the people are ready, the people are determined to effect changes. I'm happy that the election is around the corner and the people across the country, whether in the north, whether in the south, have been coming out in mass to show their support, to show their solidarity. I want to assure the people of Just Plateau that if we are voted next year, we'll be able to effect the change that is needed. Labour Party is the only answer. Our presidential candidate and indeed all our candidates of the party is the only answer to the numerous challenges of the country. We are here for those people who are trying to bring an end to insecurity. And I see it in your faces. The day you hear this sentence, go and write it. The day you hear President Peter Obi of Nigeria, from that day, we shall stop the killing and start the healing. We have become the capital of poverty in the world, capital of youth unemployment, capital of insecurity, capital of out of school children, capital of where people don't have what to eat. That is that he and I want to change. We want to build a new Nigeria. A new Nigeria is possible. With you, we are going to build a new Nigeria. This year's election, this election will not be about tribe. It will not be about tribe. No tribe buys bread cheaper. It will not be about religion. No religion buys bread cheaper. And it is nobody's turn. It is your turn to take back your country. It is your turn to take back your country. That's what we want to do. What we want to do is that Daddy and I, we are here making a pledge to you. We are here with our wife. That is my wife here. That is Daddy's wife here. So you are seeing, you are seeing different things now. We are here to make a pledge to you that we are vowed to secure and unite Nigeria. We don't want Nigeria with a division again. We want Nigeria to say I'm a Nigerian, not that I'm from the southeast or southwest or this. So we are not contesting the election. I'm not contesting the election because I'm from the southeast. I'm contesting because I'm a Nigerian and I'm qualified and I'm most qualified. Daddy and I have vowed that we protect the interests of every Nigerian, no matter who you are, no matter where you come from. That is why we said Nigeria will be great. We are going to move it from consumption to production. So you can have a job, so you'll be employed, you'll be proud. Our students will go back to school, not even fully well, no as to strike again. Four years will be four years. Five years will be five years. We will make school work. We are people of character. You know his name. Dati Baba Ahmed. That is his name. We know his age. We know where schools he went to. He has classmates. He went to military school here in Jos. So we know where he went to school. You know me. You know my name. You know my age. You know the schools I went to, our classmates, we are not people who are, who are talking about who are their name, what is the school they went to. We know where we went to. 
It is about character. It is important for us. Two of us are committed to this. We don't, we cannot continue. Look at Plateau State. Plateau State could be heaven for tourism. Plateau State is where we can cultivate flowers, where we can cultivate potato, where we can cultivate anything that you can grow in a white man's place. We want to bring just back to what it used to be. This used to be settlement. This is to be settlement of everybody. Plateau State become a home for everybody. We want to be, bring it back. We assure you, we will come here. This is my second or third time of coming here. And I'm going through to come. Tell me everything we are saying. We are going to go from, from there. And two of us have a background. We are not stolen government money. 